Heinrich Himmler was the prominent leader of the Schutzstaffel, or also known as SS, and a leading member of the Nazi Party of Nazi Germany. He was born in Munich on October 7, 1900, into a conservative middle-class Roman Catholic family. His father was a teacher and the vice principal of the grammar school that he went to, and his mother was a devout Roman Catholic. He was the middle child with an older and younger brother. When he was young, he had poor health and suffered from many ailments. To overcome this, he had trained with weights and exercised daily. During World War I, Himmler joined the German army as a teenager, but the war had ended before he could complete his training. After the war, he completed his education in agronomy at Technical University Munich, but in the process was influenced by anti-Semitism in the university and also in the country. By 1922, he became more interested in the Jewish question and had joined the Nazi party a year later. Himmler took advantage of the disarray in the party after the arrest of Hitler in the wake of the Beer Hall Putsch. He took on a leadership role and was responsible for the integration of new members into the Nazi party under Hitler when the party was refounded in 1925. It was at this time that he joined the SS. Upon the resignation of SS commander Erhard Hayden in January 1929, Himmler assumed the position of Reichsführer SS with Hitler's approval. He still carried out his duties at propaganda headquarters. One of his first responsibilities was to organize SS participants at the Nuremberg Rally in September. Over the next year, Himmler grew the SS from a force of about 290 men to about 30,000. By 1930, Himmler had persuaded Hitler to run the SS as a separate organization, although it was officially still subordinate to the SA. The Nazi party's rise to power provided Himmler and the SS an unfettered opportunity to thrive. By 1933, the SS numbered 50,000 members. Street membership requirements ensured that all members were of Hitler's Aryan Harem group. Applicants were vetted for Nordic qualities. In Himmler's voice, in Himmler's words, the Nazi gardener trying to reproduce a good old strain which has been illustrated and debased. We started from the principles of plant selection and then proceeded quite unshamely to be out the main home we did not think we could use for the build up of the SS. Few dare mention that by his own standards, he really did not make his own ideas. He must organize which intellect served him well as he began setting up different SS departments. In 1931, he appointed Reinhard Heydrich, chief of the new IC service, the AIDS intelligence service, which was renamed the Shin Shihur Heydrich. In 1932, Hilary officially appointed Hedrich his beauty. The two men had a good working relationship and a mutual respect. 